Hey guys, welcome to Pulled Pin Productions. I'm your host, Matthew Grover, awesome director, sweet cinematographer, and amazing filmmaker. Today, I will be reviewing the great 3D printer that I just bought, the Creality Ender 3 Pro. I'll be telling you what I love about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll be showing you some of the prints that I have done with it so far. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with just some of the basics. I got this printer on Amazon for $289. However, you can get it on sale right now for $269. I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can find that. Uh, the printer is a filament-based printer, uh, which is perfect. You won't find many resin 3D printers for this price range, especially not this size. Uh, it has a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter print bed, which is about eight and a half inches, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave the exact measurements somewhere on the screen here uh, which is actually really plenty big for what most people are going to be printing at this price range. I got it with the upgraded glass bed. Um, I haven't actually used it. Uh, I just want to get familiar with 3D printing before um, I used it. The only complaint I have about this is that the bed came scratched. I I don't know how big of a deal that's going to be because um, it still feels pretty smooth uh, or pretty flat. Uh, there's no like real creases or uh, indents where it's scratched. So I'll just try it out if this glass bed, I can't use it. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I'll just get another one to replace it. Um, but I'll talk more about what I don't like about the printer in a few minutes. Okay, so let's move on to what I like about the printer. Like I said, the price. Uh, for some people, $289, $269 might be expensive, but when you're looking to get into 3D printing, that's pretty cheap. Um, a lot of 3D printers this size are gonna be one, two, three hundred dollars $300 more, and if you do get them uh, this size, they're probably not that great. Um, all the printers I was looking at under $300 were much smaller than this. They might have been good printers, but I wanted something with a bigger build size. Uh, the second thing I like about it is the quality of the prints. Um, I wasn't expecting super high quality uh, prints with this printer just because of the price range and a similar 3D printer could cost me $500. So I didn't have super high hopes for it. Uh, based on the reviews that I had read, I knew that it was going to produce good quality prints, but I was really surprised with how good of quality prints that it actually produced. My first couple prints weren't that great because I was just kind of learning and getting used to having a 3D printer, but once you get the settings down and you tweak them, you can produce some really high quality prints with it. You just have to keep in mind that the quality of your print, well yes, it is based on the printer, it's also based on the settings. Uh, in the slicer that you use. Okay, and the third thing that I'll say that I love about this printer is actually the community for it. It's a very popular 3D printer, so there's a lot of support um, on the internet for this printer. The instructions that came with the printer weren't that great, but there were a plethora of other tutorials and articles online on how to assemble it, how to use the printer, so I thought that was really great. Also, there's a ton of different 3D models online for upgrades that you can uh, use with this printer. Um, I personally think the printer works just fine without any upgrades, but in the future, as I use it more, maybe I will print some of those upgrades. Okay, so now some of the things I don't like about the printer. There's not many. I definitely have more pros about the printer than cons. However, there are a few negatives about the printer. The first one is that it comes completely disassembled and you have to assemble it, from, not from scratch, but you have to assemble it and there's a lot of little pieces. I read some articles online that said it took them like eight hours to assemble this. That's not the case. If you've ever built a computer before or you just have a brain, um, it'll take you probably two hours to assemble the printer. Um, it's really not that bad however it was just kind of tedious and uh, it would have been nice if it was fully assembled but at the price range you can't expect that much the second thing I don't 
like about it particularly is that it's kind of loud. Um, I know all 3D printers are going to be loud and make some noise. However, if I'm sitting on my computer editing, doing homework, and I have my headphones on and it's running by me, I can still hear it through my headphones while listening to music. So it's not a deal breaker, but it would have been nice if there was a way to make it quieter. Okay, so then the third thing I don't like is that the leveling on it is kind of tedious. Um, after five or so prints, you'll get it down pretty well, but it can be kind of hard to level uh, your 3D printer. I'll leave a link down in the description to a video that I watched on how to level the 3D printer because that was immensely helpful. Um, without that video, I would have been lost. And my first print didn't turn out that great, but that was just my own fault. It wasn't the printer's fault. Once I leveled the printer properly, the print looked amazing. And it's not really a negative about the printer itself. It's probably more who shipped the printer. But like I said, this did arrive scratched. Um, which, you know, when you're paying almost 300 bucks, you expect to have a brand new un, uh, damaged product, which the printer itself is fine. Um, and the math that came with the printer works just fine, but I would like to use this sometime and I might have to buy a new one. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the prints that I have made so far with this printer. Okay guys, thank you for watching this episode of Pulled Pin Productions. If you have any questions or comments about the Ender 3 Pro, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to respond to all of them. Um, make sure you tune in next week to watch the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.